What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. Wanted to just go over my nutritional supplements and vitamins and minerals that I take. So um, I'm going to start with my whey protein powder and I use this True Athlete Natural Whey Isolate. And the reason why I use this one is that it doesn't have any crap in it. There's no artificial colors. There's no artificial sweeteners. Okay, this is all 100% natural. You see ingredients, whey protein isolate, natural flavors, chicory, inulin, which is a little fiber, which is good because um, if you eat a lot of protein, it backs you up. There's no soy in this either. It has uh, sunflower lecithin instead of uh, soy lecithin, which is good. And as you can see, they use uh, stevia for uh, sweetener. So no artificial ingredients here. And they also add some uh, probiotics. You see bacillus coagulans. So um, I take this uh, protein not all the time, not every day. Um, you know, once maybe every other day or on days that I train, I'll take it. You know, I'm not on any kind of strict uh, regimen with my... Um, supplements my uh, vitamins i kind of just take them how i feel i do everything instinctive and same thing with my training regimen i i train instinctively i don't have a monday tuesday wednesday friday split you know uh same thing with my um vitamins and my supplements i just kind of take them how i feel i don't like to be locked into any kind of uh, regimen so uh protein is good to have because uh, it's low calorie and it helps with uh, muscle recovery and growth. Um, as you can see, this uh, serving here, only 120 calories and you get 25 grams of protein. So it's a good low calorie source of protein for uh, recovery and muscle growth. Moving on, I have some glutamine powder. I think glutamine is good to have, especially if you're training regularly. Um, I'll take some glutamine on days when I train. I don't take glutamine every single day, but I always take it on my training days. So um, usually I train about three to five times a week. So on training days, I'll take some glutamine. I always try to take glutamine at least two or three times a week. If, if let's say I take a week off from training, I'll still take a little bit of glutamine I'll take like 10 or 20 grams during the week just to uh, flood my muscles with uh, glutamine glutamine for those of you guys who don't know it helps with recovery um, but you know I don't overdo it on these supplements because it's hard on your body it's hard on the kidneys so I like to take as minimal amount of, of supplements as possible um, and moving on I have some creatine here just basic creatine I'll take creatine maybe uh, two to three times a week. Uh, I don't like to take too much creatine because it bloats you. It gives you like kind of a puffy look. And also uh, it's tough on the kidneys, you know. And I've been lifting for 20 plus years and taking supplements for a long time. So at this point, you know, I'm in my uh, mid-30s, you know, I'm not looking to... Um, break any records now I, I've already broken records so I don't really care uh, so at this point I'm just thinking about longevity and you know I don't want my kidneys to go out by the time I'm 50 so uh, you know I take a low dose I just take five grams and maybe two or three times a week um, you know I don't load it like you're supposed to like you know with creatine you're supposed to load it you take it like every day for two weeks and then you uh, do like a maintenance every other day for like a week and then you cycle on and off. I, I don't do that. I kind of just take it like every two days or every other day. Uh, sometimes I'll take a week off or something like that, but uh, I don't take it every day because it's hard on the kidneys. Um, but creatine is very good for uh, energy. It gives you energy to train longer and it builds up your endurance so moving on i have some vitamin c powder and this is pure vitamin c powder and what i'll do is i'll actually mix just a little bit of this powder with my glutamine and my creatine 
And this stuff is very concentrated, so I just put very little. I put like a quarter of a teaspoon, and that gives me like several hundred grams of vitamin C. And I'll, I'll do that basically almost every day with the vitamin C because vitamin C is water soluble. It doesn't stick around in your body long, so you need to constantly take vitamin C. And vitamin C has so many health benefits, you know, your immune system, it fights cancers, it fights toxins, it fights oxidation. They found that uh, vitamin C is the number one antioxidant, you know, so it reduces the signs of aging, you know, wrinkles, uh, you know, accumulation of toxins. It, it, it basically, it's like almost like the fountain of youth, you know. Um, so it's good to have high levels of vitamin C inside of your body so you can fight bacteria, viruses, oxidation of cells, um, you know, so... Uh, it's water soluble, so if you take a little too much, it's not a big deal. You're, you'll just pass it through your urine. Um, and, you know, I'll cycle on and off. I don't go every single day forever. You know, I take days off, like I'll take a few days off every now and then, you know. Um, with any kind of vitamin or supplement, you always want to take a few days off periodically, you know. You don't want to just load your body up with stuff because uh, it's hard on the body. So I always like to cycle with everything. Um, moving on from the vitamin C, I have some zinc here. And the important thing with zinc that a lot of people are not familiar with is that zinc, you don't want to take too high of a dose. Okay, here we have 10 milligram tablets, which equates to 91% of your daily value. Okay, a lot of zinc supplements are sold in 30 milligrams or even 50 milligrams, which is a massive amount of zinc. You don't want to take that much zinc because zinc is very toxic in high doses. Okay, now zinc is critical, especially for men. Zinc is very important for testosterone production and for fertility. Um, so for guys, you know, zinc, you should definitely take zinc. But I always take a low dose. I take 10 milligrams a day. And I cycle that on and off. I don't take it every day because zinc can easily accumulate in your body and, and you can get zinc toxicity. And you definitely don't want to take those high dose uh, zinc supplements that are like 30 milligrams or 50 milligrams. That's just too much zinc. Um, it's toxic. So you definitely uh, want to avoid the high dose uh, zinc because it's you don't want to get zinc toxicity. Uh, you can also... Um, if you overdo it on zinc, what can happen is your estrogen will crash. And contrary to popular opinion, uh, guys, we actually need some estrogen because estrogen is important for uh, lubricating our joints. And actually estrogen, believe it or not, in guys, estrogen is very important for sex drive. Um, you wouldn't think so, um, but you need some estrogen in your body. You know, there's a, a very delicate balance of hormones in the body. And if you have too much testosterone and not enough estrogen, you're going to have low sex drive. Um, you're going to have uh, joint pain. Um, and zinc is a natural estrogen blocker. So if you take those high dose uh, zinc supplements and you take them like every day, uh, your estrogen is going to crash and the first thing you'll notice is your sex drive will be gone for a couple of days until your body eliminates the extra zinc. Usually you'll feel it for like a day or two. You'll feel like your sex drive is a little bit off and it's a little bit reduced from what it normally is. Um, and then all you do is just discontinue the zinc and it'll go back to normal. But you want to be very careful with the zinc. Obviously zinc in addition to boosting testosterone and helping male fertility, uh, it's also very good for immune function. But again, low doses, I only take 10 milligrams. And when you're taking your zinc, you want to make sure you don't take it with other uh, mineral supplements, especially like calcium or magnesium, because what happens is your body will compete for absorption. And if, let's say, you ate a meal that had a lot of calcium, let's say you had like Greek yogurt, uh, and then right after you ate the Greek yogurt, you took some of the zinc, the zinc is not going to get absorbed because what's going to happen is your body will absorb the calcium first and not the zinc. So you want to take the zinc at least two to four hours after you eat any kind of meal.
that has a lot of uh, minerals in it, um, you know, so your, your body's not competing for minerals, okay? So best thing to do with zinc is take it in the morning. Um, uh, again, you want to space out your zinc two to four hours either before or after you uh, eat any kind of meal with a lot of calcium or if you drink like milk, if you like to have milk, uh, you know, or any kind of calcium supplement. Uh, moving on, we have vitamin D. Uh, vitamin D is important. I take a low dose of vitamin D. Uh, I only take 1,000 IUs or maximum 2,000 IUs a day. Uh, and I cycle that on and off with that. You know, I don't do that every single day. Uh, I'll take some days off here and there. But maintaining good levels of vitamin D is critical for everything. Uh, immunity, um, testosterone production for men hormone balance, um, I mean, the list goes on and on. Vitamin D is absolutely critical. And I take it a lot just because I, uh, I have fair skin, so I can't really go out in the sun. Even in the summertime, I burn really easily. And I do have a history of skin cancer in my family. Um, so I don't want to go out in the sun and get my vitamin D from the sun because I'm afraid if I do that, I might expose myself to the sun too much. So I always take vitamin D, low dose is critical, okay, 1,000 to 2,000 IU a day is really all you need, and if you take that low dose every single day, your vitamin D levels will go up uh, more uh, steadily and more gradually, which is always better, you know, you don't want to flood your body with a lot of crap because it's hard on the kidneys, um, and, uh, you know, obviously good for your bones and everything. Moving on, fiber, very important, especially if you eat a lot of protein like I do. Um, I have these fiber gummies. Uh, one thing about any of these fiber gummies, if you take too much, you're going to be really bloated and you're going to be running to the bathroom like, like crazy. You're going to be, uh, you know, I don't want to use the word, but, you know, you're going to be, you're going to be, you're going to be going to the bathroom like a racehorse. You know, you're going to be pooping like a horse. Uh, every couple hours so uh, I always go a little bit lower than what they recommend like here they recommend three gummies a day I just take one or two even just two is enough uh, even one you know it's all you really need so just be careful with any kind of fiber supplements because uh, you know you don't want to be going to the bathroom like a horse uh, and then finally I take some magnesium occasionally magnesium is good because um, if you work out a lot and you sweat a lot, you lose a lot of magnesium through your sweat. And magnesium is actually very scarce uh, in our normal diet. It's, you know, there's not a lot of foods that are very concentrated in magnesium. So if you sweat a lot and you work out a lot, you're going to lose a lot of magnesium. And it's not easy to replace that magnesium. And, um, you know, years ago... Before I started taking magnesium, uh, when I would work out really intensely and I would sweat a lot, I would notice I would get like muscle twitching uh, all over, you know, and uh, I started reading about it. I thought I had like a nervous system issue or I thought I had Lyme's disease or something, but turns out I had a magnesium deficiency because I was sweating so much and I wasn't replacing the magnesium and magnesium it helps a lot with... Um, you know your nerves and your muscles and and keeping everything working properly if you have a magnesium deficiency you'll get like like twitchy muscles you know almost kind of like cramps but not really it's almost like twitches and that's from a magnesium deficiency as soon as i started taking magnesium uh that went away so same thing with magnesium uh you don't want to take it like with calcium because if you do that your body's not going to absorb the magnesium as well um, also magnesium is good for uh, sleep and it, it helps a lot with getting into a deep sleep and getting into like a REM sleep if you take one of these 500 milligram uh, caplets before you go to bed you're going to be knocked out for like 10-12 hours it almost functions like a sleeping pill uh, like melatonin or something but it's not it's just the, the magnesium helps to relax your muscles and it helps your body to relax itself and it really helps calm everything down it and it helps you go to bed you know helps you uh, get into a deep sleep 
Um, so that's good for recovery purposes. Um, so that's pretty much the supplements that I take, you know. Uh, again, I'm not like a big supplement person. I, I don't take these every single day. Like I said, I take them sporadically. Uh, I think that, you know, people go overboard with the supplements. I don't take pre-workouts anymore, um, you know, because if you go overboard, it's hard on your body, all these, these supplements and vitamins, you know. Um, so, you know, don't go overboard and remember that food is the most important thing. Having good food is, is really more important than protein powder or creatine or anything else, you know. Um, so I wanted to just share with you guys my, my uh, supplement regimen and my vitamins and minerals that I take. I hope I, uh, you know, gave you some ideas and you learned something. But that's pretty much it for this one. It's a little bit of a different video rather than just prepping. But I do believe that physical fitness and physical conditioning is, is part of being a prepper, um, you know, staying in shape and, um, you know, maximizing your physical performance is always, you know, good. So that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. And don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.